long and it feels so good to be back in a classroom. Oh, hello little friend. Welcome back to a new session of Learning with Scratch Junior. Classrooms are the rooms in schools where the students are taught subjects and moral values. Schools, especially the classrooms, are meant to be a second home. My little one, I guarantee you, fun-filled sessions are awaiting you. Wondering what the sessions are about? Well, buckle up because we will be creating an exciting game in our classroom. We will be hiding the numbers from 1 to 10 at different spots in the classroom background. We will then be adding different characters to hide the numbers and later animate these added characters such that when we tap on them, the hidden numbers are revealed. And so, the aim of the game will be to find the hidden numbers. So, in today's session, we will be adding the classroom background for our game and adding the numbers from 1 to 10 at the background. And there is one person eagerly waiting for you in the classroom. Want to know who it is? Well, for that, we have to begin today's session and add her to the background from the character list. So, let's begin. Let's open Scratch Junior. Click on the home icon. Now, click on plus sign to create and start a new project. You can see a character here. His name is Tick. We are not in need of Tick in this project. To remove Tick, click and hold on Tick and then click on cross mark. Hey, we have successfully removed the character Tick. Now, it's time to set a background for our game. Click on the background icon on the top of the stage to open the background list available on the Scratch Junior. Since our game is to find the hidden numbers from the background, let's choose a classroom background. Yes, a classroom is where we first learn the numbers. Click on this classroom background. Click on the tick mark. Wow, it looks amazing. Let's check what we have here. There is a big white board and a notice board. The letters A, B, C are placed below the white board and there is a poster of a bus pasted on the wall. Then there are tables and chairs for the students to sit. A pen stand to hold the pens, papers to write and a globe placed on the top of a cupboard. The classroom is decorated with color papers tied to strings. Have you noticed something? All these characters have different yet specific shapes. For example, the color papers hung on the walls are triangular in shape. The blue notice board and the white board are rectangular in shape. The globe on the other hand is spherical in shape. Everything living or non-living has a certain and specific shape of its own. The most common shapes around us are squares, rectangles, triangles and circles or spheres. Now, let's get back to creating our game. Almost all characters are present in the background except for the main character, whose presence is always felt in the classroom. Any guess who it is? It's the same person I mentioned in the beginning of the session. Yes, it's none other than our teacher. A teacher often works in the classroom and is a person who helps students to learn. So, let's add the character teacher to the background. Click on the plus sign on the left to open the character list available on Scratch Junior. Let's click on this teen character and then click on the paintbrush tool. A teacher should have a name, right? So, click on the white text box and remove the text by pressing the delete key or backspace key on the keyboard. 
type the name of the teacher as Miss Emma. Click on the tick button and let's place our teacher Miss Emma right over here. Is the size of Miss Emma a bit too small? Let's increase the size. Click on the purple looks block and click on the second block, draw block. Drag and place it on the workspace and click on it once. Drag and drop the block away from the workspace. Now, let's adjust the position of the character Miss Emma. Click on Miss Emma and place her here. The main character, the teacher, is added to the background. What next? Yes, we need to add the other main character in our game to the background. Can you guess what the characters are? Yes, the numbers. Do you know how many numbers exist? Well, there are infinitely many numbers. And we cannot ever tell or count how many numbers even exist. Infinitely many. That's massive. Here, we need to add the numbers from 1 to 10 to the background. We will be creating the numbers using text icon. So, click on the text icon on the top of the stage. In the white text box, type the number 1. Let's change the text size. Click on the text size icon and click on the second text size. Click anywhere on the stage. The aim of our game is to find the hidden numbers. So we must place the numbers in places where it's hard to distinguish the numbers from the background. So let's place the number 1 on the color paper hanging on the wall of the classroom. Click on 1, drag and place it on the yellow color paper. What comes after number 1? It's number 2. Click on the text icon on the top of the stage. On the white text box, type the number 2. Let's change the text size. For that, click on the text size icon and click on the second text size. Click anywhere on the stage. Where should we place the number 2? What about right below the best poster pasted on the wall? Yes, that's a good spot. So click on 2. Drag and place it over here, right below the yellow bus poster. It's time to add the next number to the background. Number 3. Click on the text icon on the top of the stage and type the number 3 on the white text box. Click on the text size icon and click on the second text size. Click on the stage and let's place 3 right above the blue table on the right. Click on 3. Drag and place it right here. We need to add number 4 to the background. Like as before, click on the text icon on the top of the stage and type the number 4. Click on the text size icon and click on the second text size. Click anywhere on the stage. Let's place the number 4 next to the shelf on the right. Click drag and place the number 4 to the left of the shelf. What's the next number after 4? It's 5. So click on the text icon and type the number 5. To change the size of the number 5, click on the text size icon and click on the second text size. Click anywhere on the stage. Click drag and place the number 5 to the left of the background next to the notice board. The next number is 6. We need to repeat the same steps. Click on the text icon on the top of the stage. On the white text box, type the number 6. Click on the text size icon to change the size of the text. Let's click on the second text size once again. Click anywhere on the stage. Click drag and place the number 6 right below the chair on the left. Well, Move on to number 7. Click on the text icon on the top of the stage and type the number 7 on the white text box. Click on the text size icon and click on the second text size. Click 
anywhere on the stage. Let's click drag and place the number 7 on the left bottom corner of the blue notice board. We have reached the number 8. Click on the text icon on the top of the stage. In the white text box, type the number 8. Click on the text size icon and click on the second text size. Click anywhere on the stage. And let's click drag and place the number on the globe. Let's add the number 9 to the background. Click on the text icon on the top of the stage. Type the number 9. Click on the text size icon and click on the second text size. Click anywhere on the stage. Click drag and place the number 9 to the left right below the number 5. Finally, we have reached the last number on our list, number 10. Click on the text icon on the top of the stage. On the white text box, type the number 10. Click on the text size icon and click on the second text size. Finally, click anywhere on the stage. Click drag and place the number 10 on the left bottom corner of the whiteboard. So, we have finished placing all the numbers from 1 to 10 on our classroom background. Yay! Let's watch all that we have created in full screen mode. Click on the full screen icon on the top of the stage. Hooray! So, we have added a classroom background, added our teacher Miss Emma, and finally added the numbers from 1 to 10 to the background. What's left? Yes, to play our game of finding the hidden numbers from the background. First, we need to hide all the numbers already added to the background. Let's continue with the animation in the next session, shall we? So, click on the exit full screen icon on the top left corner of the screen. Now, to save the project, Click on the home icon to the left. Here, in the My Project screen, you can see the project we saved. Today's session was really fun, wasn't it? We created a classroom background, met our teacher Miss Emma and finally we added the numbers from 1 to 10 to the classroom background. In the next session, we will be adding 10 different characters to hide these numbers. Don't you remember? The aim of our game is to find the hidden numbers. So, stay connected with Scratch Junior to have lot more fun. Until then, bye!